The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers say they need this bridge clear for three months, which could be a little inconvenient for drivers. The tornado was only on the ground for a minute, but in that short amount of time, it created all this damage. Kevin, take a look at all the skiers and snowboarders zooming and standing in line behind us. Whether it's cutting a piece of wood, soldering pipes, or moving heavy machinery, the experience is one to remember. On a hot day like today, being inside a car with no air is dangerous, so paramedics knew they had to act quickly. Many families get the chance to pick up their loved one and see them face to face. Others are waiting by their computer or phone for that special call. Well, Michelle, I've been to all these different vendors checking out their samples, and it's so awesome to see the tasty treats that they have down here. And it's pretty amazing to see how they've been able to incorporate cherries in just about everything. But for places like Classic Motorsports, it's simply just a shift in gears. I heard it and felt it hit the house when the tree fell. It just the whole house kind of shuddered. The ground littered with tree branches, trees snapped and uprooted into homes. It's what the tornado left behind. Gary Sumrakes had trees pierced through his home, cottage and pole barn. And it was raining inside the house as well as outside last night. The same thing happened to our cottage. The uh, tree fell and pierced the roof and it was raining in the cottage. And then my pole barn, two big trees, fell on the end of it and crushed 40% of the roof. The National Weather Service says it was the rain that made this small tornado pack a big punch. I think a, the damage was enhanced. You take a weak tornado, but with a wet ground, and so we saw a lot more trees uh, down than maybe would have been the case if it had strictly been based on wind. And even for homes on the same street that didn't see the tornado damage, all that rain created flooding. I've never had water in our shed, and I had at least two inches of water in my shed. Uh, the side yard and my driveway were underwater, and that has never happened. The National Weather Service says, let this be a warning. Big or small, tornadoes are powerful. It sort of puts into perspective how strong and violent tornadoes can be. Just to think that this was the bottom rung, how much, how much more devastating they can be. Certainly a crowd pleaser. Jack Link's air team is one of the best civilian aerobatic crews in the country, performing for both National Cherry Festival air shows. It's a very unique airplane. It's a 1930s vintage biplane, and they uh, not only have the radial engine on the front, but of course the jet engine strapped underneath it. He's only flying 10 air shows this year, so for him to pick Traverse City as one of those, we're very fortunate. They may be fun to look at, but skill tricks like these are never easy. It takes a lot of practice. We practice day in and day out, but you know, what goes into it is a lot of practice throughout the year, great equipment, a very special uh, one-of-a-kind airplane that people can come out and see. It's the Jack Link Screaming Sasquatch. Combined with tons of passion. Uh, I decided when my mom and dad took me to Oshkosh chair show a long time ago, so that's kind of when I looked up at the skies and saw an air show perform and decided I want to do that. It's fun whether you're along for the ride <laughs> oh so go. or a part of the audience watching it all. It's always fun to connect with people. That's what it's all about. It's about entertainment. So it's about connecting with people and trying to put smiles on their faces. Air shows are Saturday and Sunday afternoon at 1:15 In Traverse City, Megan Woods, 9 and 10 News at 6.